Judges and Rick Stewart's. Well, Ed, here we are in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Pinto World Championships. And you know what, Susie? This is the largest single breed horse show in the world. And you know, you've been coming to the show for a long time, so it's been changing throughout the years. That's right. Every year, I feel like it gets better and better. They keep adding more classes. And now, you know, even though these horses have multiple breeds to them, they can be registered as a Pinto solid and we can come here and show. And you know what? We're going to deep dive into this episode as we look into trainers, exhibitors, and people that have participated in the show to give you a feel of what it's like. That's right, everybody. I'm Susie Arbo. And I'm Ed Adams. And welcome to Better Horses. Daryl Bilkey, Executive VP and COO of the Pinto Horse Association, has held judges' cards in 14 breed associations and organizations. Daryl has judged countless world championship and national level shows. And from Yukon, Oklahoma, Jennifer Jackson. The Pinto World Champion Horsemanship Amateur Division Solid Class will give us her thoughts in competing. To show the value of the vendors, we stop by to talk to Carrie and Terry Zenkowicz, owners of Mystic Eyes. This is a whole body cryotherapy for both horses and humans. And Better Horses went backstage to talk to David Terrell, Pinto World Champion judge, to get his perspective on scoring horses. So before you saddle up, Sit back, relax, enjoy this episode of Better Horses as we look into the Pinto World Championship. And you know what? It's the only horse show on your local broadcast television station. Also airing nationally on RFD TV and the Cowboy Channel. We'll be right back. Those of us who devote our lives to the animals we love can recall a kind of dawning, like a seed planted deep within us and it taken root and begun to grow. It's why our family built a company dedicated to supporting the animals we all care for and this lifestyle we share. Daryl Bielke, the Executive Vice President and COO of the Pinto Horse Association. We're here in Tulsa, Oklahoma at our 30, well, 32nd year here in Tulsa, so it's about our 48th or 49th world show that the Pinto is, is hosted. So I've been involved with them for 32 years in some format of managing the show. I think the first, first world show I managed, we was in the pavilion and we thought that was great, and I think we had 500 horses and maybe 1,500 entries. Today we've got 2,500 horses, three arenas, and roughly 10,000 entries for this horse show this year. So we've kind of come a few miles and a, and a few horses. So uh, the, this horse show will have something for everyone. We'll have from the ponies, the minis, the utility horses, and all the different types of horses. We have the hunter horse, the stock horse, the pleasure horse, the saddle horse. So we'll have, we'll all have different kinds. So I think this show we've got 700 plus classes. So giving away roughly around $450,000 worth of prizes. The time we do cash and everything, I think the total value is about 900,000. So what we'll give away here in the next two weeks. So it's a, a nice large horse show. So. Pinto, Pinto is not a blood breed. Where most people know that quarter horse, Arabians, thoroughbreds, Appaloosas are all blood breeds. We are a color breed, a colored show horse breed like Palomina, Buckskin. So uh, we decided, you know, we're, we're, we're show group, so let's let's get everybody involved. So they, we registered horses by different types. We have the hunter type, which is the thoroughbred and the warm blood. We have the stock type, which is the quarter and the paint. 
the Arabian, the pleasure type is the Arabians and the Morgans. We have the utility horse, which is the Gypsy Vanners and Cobbs. We have the, uh, the two different types of ponies, stock type, pleasure type, two different heights of the miniatures. Any horse of any kind can, can show pinto, so we felt strong enough we are the color breed. We have a registry for the colored horses that have to have four inches of humanly white somewhere on their body. And then we started the solid division that any horse, any color, can be registered in the solid division. So, and then we've started a, a long year registry for the mules and donkeys, and we'll have those that event in November at the Long Year Congress with the Color Breed Congress. So, so basically, anything that's got four legs, head, and a tail, we've got a home for, it, Susie. So, bring your horse and come and play with us. Uh, we're very fortunate to be in Tulsa. You know, Tulsa is a great facility. The city of Tulsa has been very, very good to us. The hotels, the motels, uh, the restaurants, and Tulsa facility is just, I think, probably the premier facility in the world. I mean, we've got like 2,000 stalls set. We could set, they can set 3,500 if, if we look, use the Sage Net Center. But we don't, I don't want to move over there because it's the weather. But uh, a nice, nice facility. We got three arenas going every day for like 14 days. And we got a lot of warm up arenas. So, I mean, it's just a great facility. And the, the county commissioners has done well bringing people to Tulsa, so we're, we're blessed. We've got a list of, of great sponsors. Better horses there, you look out in the arena, you'll see a better horse banner. So, so we're, we're proud of everybody that's involved with us in making us grow forward. So. We, we kind of pride ourselves, we call ourselves the Pinot family. And I mean, we want all the family to come. My goal was when I took over Pinot 20 years ago, that I wanted our world show to be the Disneyland of horse shows. We're blessed here in Tulsa because we got the water park, the kids can go play. I mean, they show a lot, but they, they got the water park, they've got some nice museums here, they got the gathering place. So there's a lot of other activities. If the kids are not showing, they can go do other things in the family. We've got a lot of nice golf courses for the dads. So, so there's a lot of stuff that they can do besides just show horses, and that's because we, we want everybody to come and spend their two weeks or three weeks vacation with us in Tulsa, and we're very fortunate that's, that's what we have. Bring your trainer, come, not bring yourself. We have clinics. We try to help you when you get here. Our back gate people try to help. And all of our trainers that's here that's got customers, I, I don't know one of them that won't, won't step over and say, hey, you, you need to do this or do that. So we're just one big family. So and makes us all, the trainers from everybody. So. Cowboys and cowgirls, don't go anywhere. We have more better horses coming your way from Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Pinto World Championships. What do you get when you bring together one of the biggest names in veterinary medicine with one of the most caring and committed teams of horse health experts in the industry? You get a vaccine portfolio known for its quality and safety a pharmaceutical line you can rely on to help manage pain and support performance. You get the products, programs, and people of Merck Animal Health. We're here for the hardworking, the resilient. We're for the people who measure their days by what needs to get done, not by hours. Where kids learn responsibility at a young age and generations work side by side. Where work doesn't pause for holidays or bad weather, it just gets harder. Where value and hard work means more than the clothes you wear. We're Kleinschmidt's Western Store, Higginsville, Missouri. No matter what discipline of riding you do, training, showing, and everyday stress is hard on your horse's legs. Decra Veterinary Products is a leading lameness company that brought you Osphos. Osphos is a quadrinate injection, an intramuscular bisphosphonate to help control the clinical signs of navicular syndrome in horses four years and older. Ask your veterinarian if Osphos is right for your horse. Decra Veterinary Products is a proud sponsor of the American. Step forward, away from the rail. Ready to play one more time, our duck. 
Give the award. Congratulations to all. And if you leave your glass out. And welcome back to Better Horses. And with me today, I have Jennifer Jackson from Yukon, Oklahoma. And she has a training facility in Piedmont, Oklahoma called Limited Edition. And she is now world champion of the Pinto Championship. And this is going to be the Horsemanship Amateur Division in the Solid Class. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, I, I actually don't own the training facility. And I uh, work with two very talented uh, ladies there, um, Allison Musica and Lindsay Treese. They have really guided me through this process and it has been a long process <laughs> to get here. Um, she is a two-time world champion in this event, um, and it's a very special accomplishment for us. Well, tell um, us about your horse and how you got there, and tell us about the ride. Absolutely, so she is a horse we homebred her. Um, she is by an own son of Smart Chickalina out of a custom chrome mare. Um, she is seven, and um, she kind of started off a little rough. Um, she was she's gonna be difficult and we have a lot of work that we do with her this is not something that happened overnight and we have been working at this consistently for at least two years if not longer and the ride today was amazing she gave me everything she was really in tune with what I needed her to do she was listening to what I needed her to do and um, she really helped to instill some confidence in me. I was pretty nervous going in today. I felt like I had a lot of pressure to stand up to what we did last year. She was 2021 High Point Ranch Solid Horse for the Pintos last year. So to do this twice is amazing. And her want and desire to be a performance horse is really special. And you bring up a really good point, especially for all our viewers that are watching that want to come to the Pinto World Championship. They're having a lot of challenges and you say keep moving forward with your horse. Absolutely. Um, if you have something that you believe in and you have the want and the desire to do that, then you find the people that can help that dream come true for you. You dig down deep in you and you keep going. This is not easy. This is not something that is going to happen tomorrow. Um, you've got to stay with your dream and you have to persevere, persevere through your mistakes and whatever your horse does. Um, <laughs> Horses are not predictable, and you cannot allow them to destroy your self-esteem. It is the most gratifying thing when we win, and it is the most heartbreaking thing when we have a bad ride. But most importantly, believe in yourself, believe in your horse, and if you don't feel comfortable or confident, find somebody who can help you. That's the number one thing. Find somebody you trust that can help you with you and your animal, because that is the thing that makes it the most gratifying is that you have put so much time and effort into it. This is not something that happens without help. And we all need help. That's really what what I just want to encourage people to do. Is yeah, do what do what makes you happy, but do it in the right place with the right people. And very well said. And keeping it very safe for everybody. Absolutely. We're talking to Jennifer Jackson from Limited Edition there in Yukon, Oklahoma. We'll be right back right after this. Congratulate once again our 2022 World Champion 1472 Heaven Center Fish, Ms. Jennifer Jackson. She survived! She survived. <laughs> <laughs> she was a good girl. She was a good girl. Hey cowboys and cowgirls, don't go anywhere. We have more better horses coming your way from Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Pinto World Championships. John Deere is known for quality equipment, and high quality often comes with the perception of high price. The truth is, buyers in our area who purchased a compact utility tractor from Heritage Tractor saved more than $2,000 compared to the competition. Dare to compare us before you buy. You and your wallet will be grateful you did. Nothing runs as long as a John Deere, and we'll prove it with our exclusive 10-year warranty. Learn more at heritagetractor.com slash compare. No matter what discipline of riding you do, training, showing, and everyday stress is hard on your horse's legs. 
Decra Veterinary Products is a leading lameness company that brought you Osphos. Osphos is a quadrinate injection, an intramuscular bisphosphonate to help control the clinical signs of navicular syndrome in horses four years and older. Ask your veterinarian if Osphos is right for your horse. Decra Veterinary Products is a proud sponsor of the American. It's time to go with United Mosquito and Fly Control's premier fly system for fly control in your barn. Providing relief for horses from the stress of fighting flies. And also makes a barn more pleasant for everyone in the barn. Easy, effective, and safe. With United Mosquito and Fly Control, we provide a full service. You as the barn owner don't have to do anything. We go everywhere and take care of everything with our friendly fast service. Call today at 913-558-3814 or email paul at unitedmosquito.com. Just starting the therapy session on Bella. We are bringing in extremely cold air, which will work in a convection banner that is going to draw the heat out of the body but provide a thermal shock. That thermal shock is what is going to create the benefits that the horse is going to receive. In doing the thermal shock, it cutaneously triggers the neuroreceptors to start to the skin. And that activates the brain to think that they're in an environment that they need to go into basically like a survival mode. So, the horse will constrict all the blood flow to those inner organs to protect itself. It'll start a detox process. So typically the horses go back and they'll have a drink of water. It also boosts the immune system. Then when it releases that oxygenated blood, it's also nutrient rich. It flushes the inflammation. Within about 15 minutes of leaving the cabin, all of the lactic acid is dispersed out of the body. So when we disperse the lactic acid out of the body, what that does is gets rid of all the body soreness. Anytime we have body soreness, people or horses, it's because of lactic acid in the muscles. So we're getting rid of that lactic acid to give them relief. As you can see, the horse is releasing. She's licking and chewing. She's enjoying the, the session. They actually quite enjoy it. First timers get a little bit leery of the fog at first. After about 15 to 20 seconds, they kind of settle in and realize they feel pretty good. Horses that have a lot of uh, musculature issues, um, because this is like an all natural pain reliever, muscle relaxer, immune booster, increases circulation. It does all of those things with no drugs. It's an all natural therapy. What we also have is the thermal image of the horse. So this is the tail and this is the head. This is the hips. Typically what we look for is we watch for the areas of white. White is the highest heat and inflammation. That's typically where the horse is possibly sore. So this particular horse is lighting up through her back and a little bit more on the right side than the left. Does that confer with what how she is. Yeah. So we can often see if they've got a sore SI. Uh, it's just basically, it's nothing. There's no diagnostics. We don't diagnose anything, but it's a lot of time to peace of mind for the owners because it gives them the understanding that yes, this is what we're seeing. I felt like my horse was maybe sore there and they're right. Uh, sometimes we'll see saddle fit where maybe the saddle fit is a little bit off and they'll be able to see kind of where the bars of the saddle are so they can address those things. So that, like I say, it's, it's not diagnostics, but it is kind of peace of mind for the owners. They are in here for five minutes. 
It's not a more is better. It is cold enough, long enough to trigger the effects to receive the benefits. My name is David Till. We're at the Pinto World Show here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, I'm one of the Pinto judges. I've been honored to have one of these positions. Glad to be here. It's very exciting, and it's a good place to be right now at this time. The, the class we just finished with is called the uh, Ranch Horse Trail. And what we're looking for is, is to see a horse actually in the, in the brush, being able to uh, maneuver through obstacles that man didn't set that these were obstacles that they've had to, you know, run into while they're out riding on the trail. And we're looking for confidence for one thing. I, as, as, a, as a judge, I like to see those coming in knowing exactly what, their, what the pattern is, number one, stay on course, but then being able to let them and their horse move through the obstacles. And when we can, we can see one of the horses moving through the obstacles on their own, that's a plus. One of the biggest mistakes is, is going off pattern. Before you go in the arena, know your pattern. I mean, know it to the point that uh, it just flows from you. And then after that, you know, relax. I mean, you've done this, and I know you, you're wanting the best goal you can get, but the more you relax and just flow through, the, through your course, it helps us as judges give you a better score. One of the things that we were taught early as, as being one of the Pinto judges is to make sure that you always go by this. We treat this like, like a Bible. You know, if it's in the rule book, then we can be protected by our decision of what we make. But because of the fact we all have different tastes, we all have different things that we enjoy more. I mean, I may like a horse that really lopes deep. Uh, someone else may like a horse that really, you know, maneuvers a little different. But as long as within the standards of what the rule asks for, then that's why sometimes there are differences of opinion, which is good for each of the exhibitors because if we all just saw the same thing and all placed the same horse the same way, we wouldn't need but one. So I'm very thankful that we all have an opportunity to share with what we saw. One of the biggest things is, is to know what the industry standards are. I mean, when, you, when you're applying for a judge's card, uh, take it very serious. I mean, find out what the rules are stating, and then from there, uh, find as many judges that you can talk to that will share with you to give you some insights and ideas of what it's like to be in the pen. Uh, I would suggest if you could go, there are a lot of programs now through the industries and all that you can, what they call junior judge, where you can go and actually be in the pen with the judge to see actually what we're looking at. And through that, now you can gain the confidence in yourself to now be able to go out there and look and find the horses that you're looking for. Well, I've, I've been very blessed and very fortunate to be uh, a judge for quite a few of the associations. I, I really enjoy the Pinto because of the fact of the variety. I mean, you get a chance to see a variety of all type of horses. And it's just uh, one of those things that I don't take lightly. I take very seriously about what I do but I can't help but have a smile on my face because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm David Terrell, one of the judges here at the Pinto World in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Wanting to welcome all of you and thank you all for joining us here by watching Better Horses.
Closed captioning has been brought to you by Lina Weaver and Blacktail Ranch. Those of us who devote our lives to the animals we love can recall a kind of dawning, like a seed planted deep within us and it taken root and begun to grow. It's why our family built a company dedicated to supporting the animals we all care for and this lifestyle we share. We're here for the hardworking. The resilient. We're for the people who measure their days by what needs to get done, not by hours. Where kids learn responsibility at a young age and generations work side by side. Where work doesn't pause for holidays or bad weather. It just gets harder. Where value and hard work means more than the clothes you wear. We're Kleinschmidt's Western Store, Higginsville, Missouri. What do you get? when you bring together one of the biggest names in veterinary medicine with one of the most caring and committed teams of horse health experts in the industry, you get a vaccine portfolio known for its quality and safety, a pharmaceutical line you can rely on to help manage pain and support performance. You get the products, programs, and people of Merck Animal Health. Hey, thank you for watching Better Horses. And if you've missed any of our shows, check us out at betterhorses.com where you can see all our episodes. You can also follow us on Facebook or listen to any of our podcasts right from your mobile device. And don't forget our newspaper coming out five times a year. You're gonna love it.